Hey guys, so today I actually found one of my favorite maps in Rocket League to date, <laughs> which is which is really rare, and I thought uh, it was extremely well made. Yeah, so it's created by Dirty Dorb, and it's it's called The Path. <laughs> but I'll start now because it's extremely simplistic at the start, uh, which is a good thing, by the way. I think it like it's really well thought out. In saying that, it, it progressively gets challenging at a really good pace. But uh, yeah, so it will start off really simple. Don't expect it to be like this the entire way through. Yeah, so here's our li first little obstacle. <laughs> Again, really simple to start, but it is a bridge. I think that is why it, I like this map too, is that it can be a, a very enjoyable experience for, for, for you guys. So people who don't have like a, my type of hours put into this game can actually have a good experience with this map. And a lot of maps don't do that. They're just like there to challenge you. To challenge like the sweatiest of the sweatiest players, you know? <laughs> this one is, uh, I thoroughly enjoy. And I think you guys can too. So here's our second little obstacle thing. It's a triple dip. So again, it's not going to be too difficult for me, but even you guys can have fun with that, I reckon. A lot of you out there would struggle with that for a while. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I tried to look back to show you. <laughs> that was dumb. Our first death. <laughs> what is this? A curve around of... I remember correctly. Curvy road. Not a flat surface. Gonna have pretty good control here. But yeah, again, really simple. Going from the plains into the forest. So, oh, yeah, here we go. Another little part. It's gonna be difficult for some of you, but it is just a simple little jump there. Not too far across, so pretty easy done, but and yeah, it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty long map as well. Oh, I'm off track here, so I went... Oh, no, dead. <laughs> what am I saying? Apparently, it isn't easy at the start. All right, so we're approaching... Oh, no, we have a checkpoint here. We're fine. The Megalog. So what I did before, I don't know if you can go under it, but this one's going to be pretty hard for you guys, is you have to edge your blade over it. Maybe you can go under it. I just wasn't really uh, paying attention too much. Oh, that looks pretty... Pretty close. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's going to require some mechanical skill. So again, it does get a lot harder. But uh, yeah, uh, so you end up going like, like it is a journey. This map is a journey. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's not spoiling too much, but you end up going like in caves, like through massive tunnels. I don't know. You, you go hike mountains. A monster ends up chasing you. It's it has everything. <laughs> This map has everything. Like right now I'm going through tree trunks for some reason. And it's cool. <laughs> We're going through three of these. You jump to each little part. It's a fun map, man. I don't know. I have so I just like this map so much. It's going up the ramp. Oh. Got a little, little airborne there. Got a bit scared. Down a slope. Oh, we gotta do a sharp turn here. Alright, into a checkpoint. That tricked me a lot. Oh, okay. This is, uh, it's pretty, pretty sketchy bridge. I won't lie. <laughs> so even this, this is going to take a lot of skill at this point. Uh, I'm sure you'd have to have like a few hundred hours at least to be able to complete something like this. And it's cool because I think the checkpoints sometimes, like for the really hard levels, the challenging ones, the ones that take a lot of mechanical skill, the checkpoints aren't too far apart. So it's more so you, you do the mechanical Part, like the difficult part and then you get straight to a checkpoint and then other levels are super long but they don't require mechanical skill so it doesn't like tilt you you know but anyways went up with a spiral tree trunk oh boys i'm bad <laughs> oh jump to one platform to the next all right probably should jump to it further ramp i right, speed it up all right so we're gonna... going what is this? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Got a bunch of platforms to jump to. Ledges to jump over. Oh, here we go. And we've we've reached a temple. Now, I did get uh, a bit stuck here. So you can talk to this dude, I remember. He says it is going to get a lot more difficult, which I have been saying. He wasn't wrong because I remember I got stuck here because I didn't know what to do. But I figured out you meant to air dribble through this little gap here. Just like that. Oh. Oh, yeah, it also said a shortcut was found, so I'm not sure about that. I don't know if there's another way, but this is what I I did. 
And this is where it starts to get difficult. Uh, but even, even so, it's not even that bad. As you uh, guys know, there's like Lethemir's Dribble Challenge and Eversax. Those ones are super, they're designed to tilt you. <laughs> they're designed to be extremely hard. And require like so much mechanical skill. Like the best of the best players. And this isn't that. This is just fun. Oh. All right. So I remember this part. I remember now. This is where we go right into the cave system. Which it's pretty good experience. Just drop down here. Into the caves we go. I think we have to catch the ball. Oh, I just... Wait. I didn't even die. <laughs> I'm the best. Oh, also... This little... Alright, so I've thrown... So I was a bit confused. You know this way. I remember I went this way last time. Maybe I should go another way. Kind of forget though. Which direction now. There's so many different pathways. So we're just going to hug right. Drop this room. Look how cool it looks now though. Oh, we're dead. Wait, we're not dead. Ah. Uh, we're gone. <laughs> Alright, let's try not to die now. Holy... As I said that, we go up here. Alright, what do we have now? Do we... We didn't reach the checkpoint. <laughs> there we go. We go sharp turn here. Nice, first try. <laughs> I died quite a few times. <laughs> so now we have to flick it in that, I figured out as well. There's little... I don't know what you'd call that. <laughs> There's little things you'd have to flick it in. I don't know what that is. But what I know is you have to get the ball in there and it unlocks these doors. Which obviously unlocks a new part of the map. Oh, all right. So that's timed. <laughs> there you go. Flick it in there. Nice. Got it. Grab the ball. Don't go super slow. Done. Oh, that's right. We have a huge ramp. What does it lead to? <gasps> Oops. Nice little air dribbling part. Through the mountains we go. Oh. Oh, and they're back in the caves. That's right. <laughs> oh, back in the caves. All right, at least this isn't uh, as narrow as um before. It's getting a bit claustrophobic, you know? All right, let's go up this ramp again. Now, if I remember correctly... Oh, the checkpoint's here, so let's not die. I have a flip. <laughs> I got a flip from the wall. Wait, what? All right, that's rigged. <laughs> also, you can add you up here. I want to do this last time. It's meant to be super hard, but I wonder what it does. And the mountains? All right, so I'll let you guys... I'll let you guys discover all that. Um, there are so many Easter eggs as well. There's so many things that I'm not showing off about this map that can be explored. Up the ramp. All right, let's try and get it a little bit more in the middle here, outwards. Now, that should be really easy. Nice. I've actually died a lot on this run, but that's all right. I'm not, like, concentrating a lot uh, in terms of, like... <laughs> Nah, I'm more concentrating on uh, what I'm talking about, I guess. I don't know. So my first one, I had about... I think it was like 80 deaths. Oh, yeah. That, that time, I wasn't talking to anyone. <laughs> or, or to you guys. Oh, that's right. Okay. This is where it gets pretty weird. Pretty exciting. This spot, I swear. This is where I was like blown away. I was like, wait, what's happening? So we've reached a checkpoint. Now, we'll talk to this guy. Uh, looks like you lost your friend. Here, here. I guess he's referring to the ball. I think I've seen something wrong. Right? It's just past his door here. But be warned, there's error that lurks behind these walls. All right, yeah. So, this is the monster thing I was talking about. You have to go fast from what I've learned. See that? <laughs> it's actually scary. It's actually a horror game now. But it's actually like a fog. You have to outrun. You have to be... All right, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. No, it's after me. Oh. So, you jump here. Yeah, it's like a monster in the fog. It's it's a speed challenge for sure. So we boost here. Go across this wall. Alright, I'm dead again. <laughs> and sometimes you actually like see a monster with teeth. Pretty scary. I think the Rock League could be a scary game. Unless you get demoed. When uh, you don't expect it. You know those times where you get jump scared? Oh! How did it catch up? Yeah, you know those times when you get scared of the... The, 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 the car that approaches you, like, you guys know what I mean? <laughs> when, you, when you're dribbling the ball and he just comes out of nowhere. I swear it's a real thing. Oh, all right. So you beat it anyway. I remember the monster stops. Oh, now we're at the, the hiking the mountains. So this part's pretty cool as well. 
you know, this, see how much uh, like more mechanical you have to be now. So it's still not super, super hard. Like you don't have to have, you don't have to be a pro. You can just be like a GC at this point or something. I think pretty sure, but it's pretty cool. You got this ramp. Oh, you gotta get left. Nearly bumped into the tree there. That's all right. We saved ourselves. Another ramp. All right. Let's try and save ourselves. Oh, we're lucky this is a platform. <laughs> there you go. We're fine. Nice. Get back on track. A little bit off course. Another checkpoint. Oh, jump up here. Now, this is pretty, pretty scary. This is sketch as well. I remember this mountain part. A lot of like jumps. Oh no. Wait, we're fine. Nope. <laughs> oh, this part's getting steep. It's getting pretty steep. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that was a bit unexpected. <laughs> yeah, no, try to kill me by surprise. I think we're far. Please tell me you reached the checkpoint. Oh, I did too. Oh, wait. Am I the best player or am I the best player? <laughs> Don't even worry about it. A... Zero chance. <laughs> I never die. What are, you, what are you guys talking about? I was, I was just trolling you. Just for content. I was scaring you. Oh, never mind. I died. So, uh, yeah, I think this map, personally, is criminally underrated. <laughs> uh... I looked up on YouTube, like, Rocket League The Path to see, uh, had, like, any exposure, and it didn't. It, oh, actually, no, let me. He was the one other content creator who made a video about this map, and that was it that I found. So, I thought it definitely could use some more light, you know? It's one another reason why I really wanted to post about this. But I think, uh, dribbling maps in Rocket League scene, like, there needs to be more of them. And this is a good one. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to do dribbling maps, but there just isn't enough. Oh! So you made it to the top in 30 minutes, 77 deaths. That's not too bad. <laughs> I actually thought that was a lot worse. Not gonna lie. I thought I had more deaths. So yeah, there you go. That was just like a showcase of the map. Uh, the link and stuff will be in the description for this map. I, I recommend it a lot. I think it can be extremely useful to uh, improve your dribbling skills as well. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys want to see some more workshop maps. Leave some comments and stuff down below if you do, because I enjoy doing this and yeah. Peace.